Hey, this is Joe Gilder. Have you heard that Studio One does mid-side processing out of the box? It's pretty great. So if you've heard of mid-side processing, you may have seen there are different and great plug-in companies out there that make plugins that will do mid-side processing internally, meaning you can take the middle of your mix and the sides of your mix and separate them and process them differently. Those are great. Go for it, have fun with those. However, you can actually do that inside of Studio One. Better yet, you can split the signal into mid and side, and then you can put whatever plugins you want on them. So there, it's not a specific plugin that you're stuck with using. You can put Fat Channel on one and Pro EQ on the other. You can do any number of things because it's literally just a signal path, and you can drop in anything you want there. Let me show you how to set it up. It's really easy. So here is a song uh, that I produced many, many, many years ago. Uh, and fair warning, I was in a pretty big switch foot phase at the time. Yeah. Uh, I love that part. So it's a good example because we've got these guitars on the sides, drums, bass in the middle. Um, will give us a good. It's a good good song for showing mid side. So how do we do this? Well, first thing we do is come into your effects chain. I'm sorry. Come into your folder for all your effects, and find the plugin called Mix Tool. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna if you if you click that, it'll show you a bunch of different presets. Uh, that come with Mix Tool, um, but I'm going to show you just a way to set it up manually so you never have to, you can learn the process so you don't have to remember where to find it. So drag Mix Tool onto a track. And what you're going to want to do is Mix Tool is a very simple tool that a lot of times you'll see people use just to add or decrease volume somewhere in the chain. Um, but today what we're going to use it for is for mid-side transform. So I think there's a preset for this. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that preset just pushes the button. Thanks, preset. Um, so you want to do mid-side transform. That's what that means. And you also want to increase the gain by three decibels. So the way the mid-side process works, there's a signal loss. So if you don't make up for that here, the end result will be quieter. We don't want that. We want it to stay the same. Um, now, that's, that's one piece of the puzzle. Next, you want to drag another mix tool onto the same channel and you want to do the same thing again. Now you should set this up as an effects chain so it's all there, but this is how you do it manually. So if we look here in the mixer, and my mixer is a mess. Uh, okay, so we've got two mix tools doing the exact same thing. So the first one is taking the mix and is splitting it out to putting the mid on the left-hand side of the channel. So the left channel is mid, the right channel is side. And then the second mix tool is just reversing it. So it's putting it back together to where it's a stereo left and right mix. How do we know? Well, let's start with nothing on. Then I'll turn the first one on, and you'll hear that things get weird. And then I'll turn the second one on, and you'll hear it goes back to normal. Here we go. Okay, so something's weird. The vocal and drums went over to the left the guitars went to the right. It's pretty interesting. Now, that alone doesn't do anything for us. It just split it out. Now, how can we use, how can we access just the left or just the right? Well, we have a tool for that as well. It's called Splitter. So there's three components to this mid-side split. Then you can add whatever plugins you want. So Splitter is a plugin. We just drag it in here. Um, we can throw it right in the middle. And that will bring up, Splitter is really just a routing window. Um, so it doesn't have like, this is all the plugin interface you'll see with Splitter. Um, but here's what it does. The signal comes through here and it gets split. Now there's a couple different ways Splitter works. The default mode is normal split, which is just a parallel signal where it sends the same thing to both sides. We don't want that. We want a channel split, which means left and right, which means this side gets the, um, sorry, the left side gets the mid and the right side gets the sides. So <clears throat> if I turn off the second one, we can hear right now that the drums are on the left, mostly drums and vocals on the left, bass on the left, guitars are on the right. Okay, now, to be completely fair, the left is really a mono sum of everything, so the guitars are there as well, but the stuff that's only on the sides is coming out of the right speaker right now, which means we can start processing that. Let's listen to that. Let's turn off the left side by clicking this mute button and just listen to the right side.
So it has just guitars, a little bit of the room sound of the drums. There was a tom hit that was there because the tom is not panned to the middle, it's on the side. And that's it. So now we can process that independently of everything else happening in the mix. So if we do it all together where we turn mix tool back on on the back end, and if we mute one of these sides, you're going to hear, here's the whole mix. And then if I mute the mid, listen to what happens. That's essentially the stereo spread of just the size. Now it sounds super out of phase because it technically is. That's okay, it gets fixed when it goes back through the second mix tool and when it adds back in the mid. But anyway, this is how we have now achieved mid side. And now that means, let's say we wanted to just put an EQ on just the sides. We can drag an EQ to this right hand side and then we can just go nuts doing something to just those guitars on the sides. Notice how the vocal hasn't changed, but the guitars have gotten a lot brighter. That's because we've only EQ'd the sides, we've only EQ'd the guitars, the vocal, the bass, the kick drum, the snare, they remain untouched. So uh, if you want to learn more about mid-side, obviously this is a quick video to show you how to get it set up. If you understand mid-side, then you're off to the races. If you don't, I've created a video called, it's called Mid-Side Masterclass, where I go through this process very in-depth, explaining how the mid-side works, how to think about it, how to set things up, and when to use it. Because it's not something you use every time you go to put a plug in somewhere, but it can be really handy in certain situations, including mastering. Uh, that masterclass is available for Sphere members, so if you've been on the fence about joining, now's a good time. That masterclass is in the members area waiting for you, and obviously you get Studio One included with your membership. Check out the links in the description for more on that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.